Here's a quick update on a little progress on the project of the ICF do-it-yourself ICF home. Here I've stacked these up and I have drawn a line here. This is the line that we're going to have to cut up at the roof line because this is the slope of the roof. And But rather than doing it up there, which would be very inconvenient, up 16 foot in the air, 9 to 16 foot, I did it down low here. I marked these. I got the correct slope on them and I lettered them A, A through O so we can put them back together. Now that I've done this, I'm going to take this all back apart uh, to be able to start the actual assembly of everything. Of course, these here in these corners, uh, those will have the corner uh, partition slid in, so those will be closed. And very seldom do you come out exactly right. So the general idea is to build from the corners to a middle point. In this case, this middle point is going to be on a window. And that's where the two parts will come together, and there you can cut it to whatever length you need. So you don't have to make it an exact number of blocks. So you'll see how that comes out. But that's going to be a window there, uh, in a bathroom window. Over here will be a door, another door, another window. So, um, But these pieces, for example, those there, that triangular piece, I won't have any other use for it. So some of those I'm going to use them for, I can cut those scraps up now and use them for spacers in places that I need them. And of course ones like this one, which is going to be like uh, two-thirds of a block, obviously there's places I can use one about that length. So I'm going to cut these now, uh, or very soon, so that I can use these as I go up and not have that wasted materials at the end and have these ready to put up to not waste time cutting them while, uh, while we're up in the air. One other little thing I wanted to show, uh, these blocks end up being 12 inches, the effective height, but they have these tabs sticking down. And on the bottom row, I cut all these tabs off here, cut them off smooth on the table saw, which I had to put it, you know, it's about three quarters of an inch, but uh, with the blade, with it in, I end up setting on about nine, nine sixteenths of an inch. So these will sit down solid with no gaps there where concrete could come out and gives a more solid surface over here. And now with those scraps of block, I will come at least at the end of every block here and I will block these up level to be ready to continue the assembly. But before we continue the assembly, I'll need to put uh, the equivalent of uh, roughly a 2x4, but it's going to be 2 inch foam here to fit, to seal this crack so cement doesn't go out. You'll see that as we do it. So I've got all the all the base row laid out. Uh, of course there's going to be two doors there, a double front door there, another door over there, huge doors, huge folding doors here, uh, 14 foot on each side. And this will be the the main view out towards this and our open area on this there'll be a big porch here okay so uh we're getting ready i'm getting ready to take this down and then uh, we'll be ready to go uh we've got help coming sunday because most people are busy so but some workers are available on a sunday and they'll get all these blocks uh the styrofoam blocks assembled here in the middle in a long row all the way down here leaving plenty of room on the edges and everywhere so we'll have them accessible pretty close to where we need them and uh, the plan is to get all this assembled this coming week probably pour the walls full the following Monday and then uh, the bar joists which you'll see that go between the house and the columns supporting the porch roofs uh, we'll finish all that stuff uh, uh, later that next week so in roughly roughly 12 days, we should be ready to uh, put up the roof trusses and start getting the roof on. That's what we're doing now.